All right, you guys, so I'm gonna pick this video up where I left off in the last one, which is actually prepping a painting. So in the last video, I actually got everything welded right here. Uh, smoothed that out, smoothed that one out, welded that seam, and then welded this one. Um, and then at the same time, I went ahead and I straightened out both these brackets right here. They're all messed up. So the frame is good in terms of fabrication work. Um, it did rain again, as you can tell, it downpoured, like downpoured, downpoured um, for a solid day. You can see, still see it's pretty wet right there. Um, but bare metal didn't rust. So what I did is I just coated it um, in a penetrating oil. So if you just coat this frame, if you coat bare metal in any sort of oil, um, like you can see, it's got like an oil residue right there. Um, it won't rust, so it makes it kind of water resistant. So that's what I did, I just kind of soaked the whole frame down in it. Um, and then it allows it to, uh, you know, stay nice. I don't have to wire wheel or clean it again. We're gonna start off with just actually cleaning everything. Uh, I got, I'm gonna use the same tools I used in the last video, which were that composite wheel, the wire wheel, my contour tool, a couple different ones that you'll see. Um, and I'm just gonna clean up all this other, you know, gunk and corrosion, because. I'm not gonna go that clean everywhere, um, but it, you know, this was just a little bit with a couple different tools. So I'm just gonna try to get it as clean as I can, you know, make it look nice. It doesn't take that much effort. Um, so I'm just gonna go around this whole thing and clean it all up. Get ready for paint, painting in this video. All right, got, all, got the frame all cleaned up. Now the last thing I'm gonna do is take some of uh, some of this actual degreaser that uh, the PR15 gives you. I gotta clean this side of the frame. You can see underneath it, I'll do the underside, which isn't that great. So I gotta clean the whole underside of the frame, but I'm gonna try degreasing it all first. Um, so this is the degreaser that PR15 gives you. So I'm just gonna degrease the whole frame and power wash it, and then just use like a scotch Bright pad and a couple other things. Just get all the grease off and then uh, just kind of scuff the frame up. We should be good to paint from there. This frame cleaned up phenomenally. I'm very surprised. I mean, just look at the metal. So, just shows what you can do with a little bit of work. This thing's gonna look amazing when it's done. So, we get to clean it. All right guys, we just got back from about, oh, I don't know, three, four days of rain. Uh, and as you can see, there's no rust on the frame. It's bare metal, there's absolutely no rust. And like I said before, you just coat it in some sort of an oil, whether that be like a PB blaster or some sort of lubricant, um, just something that has an oil in it. Um, so it'll keep all your moisture off your frame. I mean, there'll be a little bit, I mean, keep in mind this was outside in the rain for like four days, but as you can see, I can pick up where I left off and I'm not gonna have to, you know, scrape a bunch of rust off. So all I gotta do is just take some brake clean real quick knock all the oils off and uh, go ahead and just finish up these like underside parts get all those cleaned up and then we'll be ready to throw some color on this thing finally <laughs>
All right, we got this uh, frame completely clean. It kind of sucked a lot going underneath it, getting shot out in the face the entire time. But you can see the whole underside looks the same way as the top uh, for the most part, and we're ready to paint this thing. So the PR15 comes with a degreaser. You basically, uh, I went ahead and I put in a spray bottle. It makes it way easier to apply. It comes in like a pour bottle. So I went to Napa, uh, got just a generic spray bottle, put it in there. Uh, now I'm going to soak the frame down, let it sit for a second, kind of agitate the stuff up with a brush. I got the brush over there, uh, let it all come off and wash it off and then let it all dry. And then we have a frame metal prep that we'll put on and then the actual paint. Uh, we'll brush the paint on with a paintbrush. Uh, it'll be self-leveling. It'll look smooth, look just like a professional paint finish. Um, and then we'll put a top coat to make sure, because this paint is not UV protectant, we'll put a top coat on it and it'll be done. So I'm going to go ahead and spray the degreaser on it, go ahead and get all the, you know, oils I had on this thing off and all the dirt and gunk and stuff uh, and get this thing cleaned up and ready for paint. All right, so I got the frame all coated up. You can see that chemical left like a zinc coating there. So I believe that's what the paint's supposed to adhere to. As you can see, it's kind of got like a yellowish finish. So that's all clean, but uh, so over here I've got the products I'm gonna be using. So this is the PR15. However, this stuff not only is very sensitive to sun and it will fade, um, it actually cures very quickly. So what I'm gonna end up doing is pouring this into a cup um, so I don't ruin the whole batch because it'll actually instantly start curing the second it gets exposure to moisture. Um, and then I have two brushes. So I'm just gonna use my generic brush uh, to get it on because I'm gonna do two thin coats um, instead of just one pretty you know thick coat. Uh, it says to do two thinner coats, so we're gonna do two, we're gonna do just that. So I'm gonna go ahead and use the larger brush, pour this into here, and then get the whole frame coated, uh, and then I'll come back with a nicer brush. This, so this one has a lot nicer bristles in it. Um, so I'll use this one second and do the second coat with that. Um, it is self leveling, so it should lay really nicely. Uh, so yeah, let's get right to it. Hey guys laid the first coat down this stuff lays phenomenally i mean just look at my reflection look at how crisp it is so you can now kind of see like this stuff lays so flat that you can pick up any little tiny perfection in the metal um so that's why plus this is a first coat you can see there's still like since it's so self-leveling it'll miss a couple spots so that's kind of why you do multiple coats but i mean this stuff is just it's crazy that i applied this with a brush that's what I can't get over with this stuff. So I know I, so I'm like incredibly, you know, I'm stoked with the way this is coming out. This looks like a professionally painted frame and that's what I wanted here. But you know, I'm just some kid on the side of my house painting a 
car frame. So that, this stuff came out phenomenally. Did the whole underside as well. Um, that center cross member went really well. Everything laid exactly how I wanted. So uh, now I just got about a two, one to two hour waiting period for it to dry for the first coat to get kind of that tacky finish. Then I'll be able to put my second coat on top of that and that'll get rid of all these little tiny bit of metal spots that you can see right there. There's not too many, but now you can definitely see why I, there was an ugly stitch weld right here. I filled that in, so now you can see the finish. It's a nice seamless frame. So I'm pumped with that. So I'm gonna go ahead and let this thing dry and get the second coat on. the second coat this frame is now done I just got to spray that top coat but all the top coat is just another coat of gloss black so it won't really look any different but man I'm stuck to just I still can't get over how this stuff lays I mean you can see it's still leveling right there you can see the strokes of the brush I literally just finished it um, but the top lays like glass it looks gray because of the light but you can see it's black Yeah, I'm super impressed with the way this stuff lays. So I pretty much stopped it right at the back of the frame. When I do the top coat, the top coat's like in an aerosol can, so you spray it. I'll kind of fade it into the rest of the frame rails, and I'll probably use the access of the top coat on the rest of the frame just so most of it matches. Um, but yeah, so now I gotta work on the firewall next, but uh, I'm super pumped with the way this came out. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully it gave you some sort of uh, inspiration on how to do your own frame pretty easily. It's not crazy hard, just takes a little bit of labor. Not too bad, but uh, yeah, I'm pumped. All right, guys, so that's it. I'm gonna paint the frame one more time and then we'll be done. Uh, then we can go ahead and reassemble. There's a bunch of cool parts I still gotta show you. I have everything to put the front suspension of that car back together, which you'll see in the next video. I'm gonna start by assembling all of the front suspension and getting the car back together, little by little. Um, but yeah, super pumped with the way the frame came out. Thank you guys so much for watching through the whole video. If you did like the video, if you did enjoy it, it would really mean a lot to me. Uh, subscribe if you haven't already. Comment down below and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye guys. <laughs>